This is AP Calculus section 7.2, page 5. For this particular problem, I'm going to ask that you grab some colored pencils. So, unless you have them right there on your desk, please pause the video. If you're in the classroom, grab some colored pencils and um, then come back. All right, we are finding the area between x equals 9 minus y squared and y equals negative 1 fifth x minus 1. All right, I put the, the graphs up here, but we do need to identify the different pieces. So if we look at this one right here, this 9 minus y squared equals x, let's solve for y. So I'm going to pull this y squared over here. y squared is 9 minus x. And then square root both sides, the so y is plus or minus the square root of 9 minus x. That's these two curved pieces. So we have this top piece, and I'm just going to kind of darken over it in red. So that red piece is y equals the positive square root of 9 minus x. This piece down here, this piece down here, I'm just going to darken that up in blue. That one is y equals y equals negative square root of 9 minus x. Okay, clearly this linear piece then right here, there is y equals negative 1 fifth x minus 1. And I'm going to put that one in green. Okay, to also save us some time here, this point of intersection right there is at negative 40 comma 7. You should, however, be able to find that point of intersection on your own. Um, set the green function equal to the, this red piece and then solve. Down here, this point of intersection is 5 comma negative 2. Again, you should be able to find that point of intersection on your own. Set this blue equal to that green and then solve. All right. Um, the region that we want then between these two is this really odd shaped thing right here. And again, we're going to look at this two separate ways and kind of talk about which one might be easier to handle. The first way, let's start with, is the one that you are probably the most comfortable with, which is the top minus bottom, or elements of area that are perpendicular to the x-axis. which is parallel to the y-axis, and that is top minus bottom dx. Now, when we look at this as top minus bottom, right here, top function's red, bottom function green. Still red and green. Still red and green, but what about all the way over here at this edge? So right over there, top is red, bottom is blue. That changes over from one to the other right here at that point of intersection. 
So we are going to have to separate this out. We will have to do the integral of red minus the green And now we're going to have to add on red minus blue. Dx. Bounce. Where do we start red minus green? That starts right here at negative 40 for the x. Whoops. Can't see it. Sorry. X value negative 40 up to x value right there, 5. So from negative 40 up to 5. And red over blue gives us 5 all the way out here to this point. That's at 9, 0. So this is going from 5 to 9. All right, now let's go back in and actually write in those functions. So we have negative 40 up to 5. The red function was the square root of 9 minus x minus the green is that line. So negative 1 fifth x minus 1 dx plus this integral 5 to 9 red positive square root 9 minus x minus the blue which is negative square root 9 minus x dx. All right, cleaning up a bit. Negative 40 to 5 square root 9 minus x. I'm going to distribute this minus sign here. So plus 1 fifth x plus a 1 dx. Plus then this integral over here. Ooh, square root 9 minus x minus a negative square root 9 minus x. That's two of those. Okay, and right now, that just looks gross to handle. I do not want to handle that, so I'm going to leave it alone for a minute. And hopefully, this other one over here looks a little bit nicer to deal with. We'll see, though. Maybe, maybe not. All right, let's flip this and look at elements of area that are perpendicular to the y-axis or parallel to the x-axis. That's setting up right minus left. And that will be dy. Now, right minus left. Forget the colors for right now. And if we just do right minus left in this section right in here, the parabola is on the right, the line is on the left. Move down a little bit. Parabola is still on the right side of this pen. Line is on the left side of that pen. Even down here, the parabola is on the right side of the pen. The line is on the left side of the pen. So when we're looking at this, we actually don't need to separate top and bottom here of these, this because that's just one parabola. So we're looking at the parabola minus the line. And the parabola... With y's, that's just 9 minus y squared. The line is a little bit trickier because I have to put y's in here for the line, which means I have to have this line solved for x. So if I multiply through by 5 here to clear the fractions, um, I might as well multiply by negative 5. So we'll have a negative 5y equals x plus a 5. Solve for x. And we have negative 5y minus a 5. 
there's that line, solve for x, so that I can put y's in my equation. Simplifying, so I have 9 minus y squared plus 5y plus a 5, which will give me a negative y squared plus 5y plus a 14. Okay, bounds. We got to go back. We kind of forgot about them. Well, I didn't. So I just was on a roll here. Okay, so bounds. We're going to go bottom to top. So for that shape with the bottom y value would be negative 2, and the top y value is 7. So our bounds, negative 2 to 7. Okay, look at the two integrals that we came up with. Which one would you rather handle? That one or this one? Both of those. Well, I don't know about you guys, this is icky. Ick, ew. I don't want to do that one, that's just ugly. This one, not so bad, not so bad. Um, should I take you through the fractions or you think you can handle it on your own? Okay, we're done. If you want to be done, you're done. Otherwise, I'm going to go through because I think it's fun and I'm going to work through this by hand. This is negative one third y cubed plus five halves y squared plus a 14y. We're going to evaluate this from negative two to a 7. And the sub in here may have negative 1 third times a 7 cubed plus 5 halves times 7 squared plus 14 times 7. Then minus, got to put a negative 2 in, 1 third times negative 2 cubed plus 5 halves times a negative 2 squared plus 14 times a negative 2. Uh-oh. No, I did that right. I got scared for a minute that I put the wrong one in first. All right, 7 cubed is 343. So this is negative 343 over 3 plus 7 squared, 49. 49 times 5 is 245 over 2 plus 14 times 7, that's 70, and 28, that's 98. Ooh, yikes. Minus, okay, in here, negative 2 cubed, that's going to be negative 8, and then times a third. Um, that's 4 times 5 halves is 20 over 2, oh, 10, that's nice. And 14 times a negative 2 minus 28. Good boy. Uh, let's see. Negative 3, 43 over 3 plus 2, 45 over 2 plus a 98 plus 8 thirds. And then there's minus 18 minus that plus an 18. Oh boy, 98 and 18, 116, the thirds, 343, negative 343, and an 8. Uh, I guess subtract 8, 343 minus 10 is 333 plus 2, 333 plus 2, wait, something's wrong. Oh, with a negative one third. I knew I said wrong. Sorry, it's bugging me. Because I know what the answer is supposed to be, and I wasn't going to get it, and it was bugging me, so I found it. That should have been negative one third. Um, and then this should have been 
positive eight thirds here, which makes this a negative eight. There we go. So that's negative 351. So minus 351 over three plus 242, oops, 245 over two. Oh, geez, 351 over three? That's 117. So we have 116 minus 117 plus 245 over 2, that's 122 and a half. So we have negative 1 plus 122.5, which gives us 121.5. That's a big amount of area. That is a big amount of area. Oh boy, thank you for joining me and um, see you on page six.